Okay, we're going to find out how to create a new audio track for a video. So first of all, let's uh, open up our video and then just pause it and turn it back to the beginning. Let's resize the screen so we can see what we're doing. And then we open Audacity. Now Audacity is a um, video recording package. What we need to do is start that recording and that will record a track. So here we are, if we start recording. Oh, sorry, before we do, because there's a delay between pressing record on the audio and playing the video, we'll put a speech marker, which we can use then to uh, trim, subsequently trim the audio, so it can synchronize the actions on the screen. Okay, so we will press record now. Starting to play now. Right, so now what we would do is just start to record the different language element um, based upon the video. So here, for example, we can say that we're looking at the regions and we're looking at the full screen. Oh, look, we're looking at the options in the, the options drop-down box. We'll do something with the audio settings. Uh, hovering for a long time on do not record audio. Looking at the video options. Ah, we've obviously clicked onto video and we're going to be doing something in here. Um, obviously this is an important setup function for how we use Camtasia and integrate it into the, the other packages. Um, not sure what else we're going to do here. And then we finish. Fantastic. And that looks like we're coming to the end of the video. Once we've finished the video uh, we then need to get into Audacity and close the box. Okay, so stop. Now we need to start editing in Audacity and we can go all the way back to the beginning. Um, how do we, yep, here we are, slider bar. And this is the mark that we put on that said we will be recording now. So we can listen to what's going on. If I turn the volume up, we can listen to what's going on in your headphones. So we find that. So this is our block that we want to cut, and we will. select that block and delete it. Now we can then export this as a p3 file and we'll put that in the same directory and this is our audio overlay and we will save it. Okay, we don't need to add any elements to that. Now once we've saved our mp3 file, we can drop out, don't need VLC, but what we do need is a Vidamux. And so we'll open the video we want to change the track onto, which in this instance is a screencasting using Camtasia. We're happy for this. and. We then go into the audio and change the main track. Currently, the audio source of the main track is from the video itself, and we want it from the external MP3. And we select the audio overlay and click on OK. Then, all we do is save the video. with a description of the audio. So in this instance it will be Arabic, for example, overlay.avi. Save. And we are completed. Okay. And if we close this down, we can then look, play this, and I will put it through the speakers so you can see hear the result and see the result. So now what we would do 
is just start to record the different language element um, based upon the video. So here, for example, we can... Fantastic. So that demonstrates adding a new audio track onto a pre-existing video.